Hi, good evening. Good evening. I'm wondering, first of all, how you go about refining a conscience issue for yourself. A what? A conscience, conscience issue. And then kind of secondarily, how do you reconcile when you have seemingly opposing conscience issues, such as conscience against taking a mandated COVID vaccine versus one's conscience to keep a job, to continue to support and feed their family? Yeah, I, I, th I think um, for everybody that's different, but um, I, I think for us to um, battle that in our conscience is what throws us kind of into prayer before the Lord. Um, I've said this to people who have been in that same dilemma, um, you could go ahead and take the vaccine because you, you need to keep your job and it's not likely you're going to die from that. It's not going to prevent you from getting COVID and it's not going to prevent you from passing COVID and there may be some side effects, but you would say, I need my job, I need to support my family, so I'm going to trust the Lord to protect me, right? That's, that's sensible. I mean, that's sensible. I think uh, that's, that's not an uncommon thing. All the people who worked in the health care uh, through COVID had to say, okay, Lord, I'm in there every day. I'm going there. I'm doing this. You're going to have to protect me. Or on the other hand, you could say, I, I don't want this. Um, I, uh, for, for maybe religious reasons and other reasons, I don't want this. I know I've heard that from pregnant women. And then uh, you could say, if, if, uh, if I don't get this, I, it could cost me, if you're a man, it could cost the job or even some women. And so, Lord, you're going to you're gonna have to protect me. Either way, you're putting yourself in the Lord's hands. And you can't lose, right? You can't lose, as we were saying this morning. So I, I think, and again, it's kind of like the question about how do you know you're called to pastor? I think if, you're, if your life is right before the Lord, you can follow what the strongest desire is. I think the Lord guides you in those desires. And then you trust Him, right? Thanks. Okay.